coach. I'm off to ride my next ride, El Giro de Rigo. It's about 26 miles, and it's about 1,000 feet of climbing. And after yesterday's time trial, this should be interesting, don't you think? Well, it could be a little interesting, right? Okay, any advice? Hello again. My name is Linda Messenger. Welcome to my channel, Zwifting with Granny and Coach Morgan. Thank you, subs. You have no idea how cool it is. Uh, all the encouragement you give me really motivates me to move on. Uh, please, if you like the content, hit the like button. Please subscribe if you're not. Uh, any comments are welcome. I really like interacting with you guys. As always, special thank you to Convex Serve Computer in Forked River, New Jersey, who sponsors this channel. If you're in the area, please go see them for all your computer needs. They're good people. So, today, we are doing El Giro de Rigo, which is the out and back course up the volcano. This is about a thousand feet of climbing. I just did a five minute warm up on RGV. My legs are still shot from the time trial, the Garmin time trial, my last video. So hopefully we'll see what happens right now. Well, we'll see what happens, hopefully or not. Right now there's about 1400 people in this thing. I just picked the mixed race since it looks like everybody rides at the same time anyway. So, here we go. <clears throat> oh yeah. My legs do not feel extremely strong today. Very tired. Very tired. <clears throat> yes, I just saw a D. So for those of you who are new, the C on the right hand side is the mixed group. If you see a D in yellow on the right hand side and on the map, that's the women's group. But they all start at the same time. So we'll always end up riding together throughout this ride. My goal is to find a group at around my ability or lack thereof and uh, <clears throat> well I am more able than I was and see if I can stick with them through most of this I think the volcano climb is going to be my uh, nemesis that is going to be my problem I think that's exactly where I'm going to get dropped big time. Because my quads are having a just say no day. Again, this is not a race. This is just a ride. But I can never just make it just a ride. It's always got to be a race. I start out with good intentions and then I see a, a group just a little faster than me that maybe I might be able to keep up with and the race begins. So judging by the size of the field, if I finish between 1400 and 1500 that would be really cool. If I go 
go past 1600. It is what it is. The goal is to finish. At this rate, there's 1612 people in this race. Ride, ride, Linda, it's a ride. The way I feel right now, of 1612, I may finish 1613. Even just that little 2%, I could feel it in my quads. So the hill is where I'm gonna get dropped. Everybody's talking about just wanting to finish. That's all I want to do. I mean, it'd be nice if I got some PRs. And it'd be nice if I could finish under 1500th. But my goal is to finish. If I come in last, I finished. That's all that matters. To any of you embarrassed about riding because you're slow, screw it. Just ride. You're beating everyone on the couch, as they say. Yesterday, when I finished the time trial, I was soaked. Even I have this really good turbo fan here. Absolutely soaked. I could have squeezed out the headband. So today I have towel and another additional fan at the ready. I can't keep the house too cold. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but there's a bird cage with two cockatiels in it. They happen to like the jungle route. Anytime I'm on the jungle route and they hear the birds screaming in the jungle, they start screaming too. It's really funny. <clears throat> so, right now the house is about 66. And I'm in my sunroom which is actually the coolest room in the house, even in the summer. It's uh, surrounded by woods, which keeps it cool. There's actually no heating vent in here. It's a perfect room for Swift. Well, that's enough about my living arrangements. Back to Zwift. If I push to catch these people, I don't know if I'll have enough to finish. So I'm just gonna ride my own ride. And hopefully I'll end up with a nice little group, which is the case when you have large rides like this. You're always gonna find somebody to ride with trying to save it for the volcano climb. I'll let them catch me 20 seconds behind me. I mean, I'll keep going as best I can, but <clears throat> I'm not gonna push it to try to get to that group ahead of me. I'm saving my feather for when I'm dying up the volcano climb. Again, for those of you who are new, when you go through an arch, you get a power-up. There are different power-ups. The feather makes you, I think, 15 kilos lighter, 
and it's really good for climbing. There's an aero helmet, which will make you go faster down the hill or faster in general. There's a blue truck, which is a draft boost. Like if you would ride your bike behind a van And then there is the pink plus sign where you get XP, which translates into drops, which is where you can go to the drop shop and buy frames or wheels. And it adds to the game aspect, it's fun. <coughs> you know, they're talking about batteries dying while they're riding. I always keep my phone plugged in for the companion app. When I ride, I go off my computer. I have gone off an iPad or Apple TV. I have that hooked up as an option as well. But if you can, always plug in your devices while you're riding because it's going to drain. A lot of the people who are watching, a lot of the things that I say are things that you guys already know. But it's interesting that the viewership, the subs that I have, actually a lot of people are people who are trying to get their mother or their father to watch my channel or seniors themselves who are looking into Zwift and seeing if it's an option for them. And we were all new once. So it's my hope that sometimes these comments, which most of us are well aware of, will help explain the mystique behind Zwift. Because when you, it's not really intuitive when you first get on. If you're new, I highly recommend just going on YouTube and doing a search on Zwift or how to Zwift or Zwift setup or indoor cycling. And there are hundreds, if not thousands of videos that will help you. Jane Miller's channel. He is very good at explaining all the little things that are not intuitive. And also, if you go online and go on Zwift Insider, it's a website, Eric Schlange. Uh, edits handles and uh, a lot of really good information on there I've been really honored to have three of my articles uh, I can't even think right now published is the word Linda there one was about my first ride up the Alp to Zwift. One was about my first herd ride. And the last one was about my Mont Ventoux ride. You just go in the search there if you want to read them. Just type in my name, Linda Messenger, and if you care to read them, you'll find them. or if you think there's something that will motivate somebody else. That's the main goal. I wanna to try to help people who don't think they can do this, do this. Hey, okay, this time last year, I was using a cane, a walker, and a wheelchair. This is what Zwift can do. So 
some of the new viewers may go, oh my gosh, 25 miles. That's a lot. When I first started Zwift, I was riding my bike occasionally on the weekends. I have a hybrid that is my go-to bike <coughs> that I ride it in the woods and on trails. It has cyclocross tires on it. Anyway, I was riding that on the weekends and doing 20, 25 mile rides when I could, but not on a consistent basis. And once I started Zwift, because I was in such pain, I could only do three miles. Like, I, my first few rides on Zwift, three miles, four miles. That's how I started. And it builds up over time. About to go down the gravel. Oh no, we're going to the sprint. Okay. All right. So we're gonna hit what they call some ro rollers. The hills are undulating. But you can use the downhills to bring your RPMs up. makes the uphills a lot easier. <clears throat> okay, we're heading toward the volcano. We're gonna go through a tunnel. And then we will be going to the volcano climb. Now a lot of you may ask me, why do I keep saying similar things in videos for newcomers? You never know when, will, when the first video will be that a newcomer will, will see. You know, they could jump in right in the middle. This could be their first video. My job is to encourage people to try to get active and this is a great way to do it year-round if your balance is really bad and you're a senior you can do this you don't have to worry about balance you don't have to worry about climbing up on the bike I, I'm gonna make a video about that as well So that's why I repeat things. I've come into, I think, Shane Miller's videos. I came in on the middle of them. Uh, again, Sarah, everything is photogenic. Great channel. Jumped in in the middle of those. And then it made me want to see other videos that that particular YouTuber put out. So, if I help one person, I'm good. All right, here we go. And those people are coming back. And that guy is taking the aerial route. Oh, too many drugs. Wow, see? That's what happens if you're a child of the 60s. Wait, I resemble that remark. I'm saving the feather for just before the volcano banner. That's the worst. The legs are already tired from the climb.
trying to do steady here. Steady as she goes. Deploy fan number two. Very handy little device if you don't have Alexa, which I do. If you're not tech savvy, Anytime. which I am. No, not you. That's what happens when you say her name. Battery powered. Plug the plug into the plug. Plug the plug into the wall. You know what I mean. I remember the first time I climbed this. I think the fastest I could manage at any given point was three miles an hour. Most of it was done at two. So, I've already doubled my abilities. It may be slow, but it's better. And I thought this thing would never end. Every time I climb it, I feel like that. Again, if you climb one of these hills for the first time and you feel like quitting, don't quit. Stop, take a break, collect yourself, and then try to keep going. You'll be amazed what you can do after a 30, 15, 30 second break. Don't give up. I mean, if you're hurting yourself, like knee pain or something, yes. But if you're just tired, take a break, stand up on the bike, stop pedaling for several seconds, and then try it again. You'll be amazed. All right. Feather deployed. This young man I'm about to pass is 12 years old. I'm not passing him because I'm faster. I'm passing him because I'm fat and going down a hill. down, six to go. And a good part of it is downhill. Oh no, we're not going downhill. We're going up, oh good. We're going up the epic KOM. Well, I'm kind of glad I didn't know that. Oh, are we? Wait. 
yes. Yes, we, I am about to endure more pain. Sorry, Beck. So we are indeed finishing downtown, the downtown banner. But we have to go up. Another hill. The hill climb isn't so bad, it's this turn that I hate. It's just like a wall. going to the desert. We're not going downtown. We're going to Tempest Fugit. All right. Of course it makes sense out and back. We go out, starting at the desert. Back would mean going back to the desert. I'm not out of breath. My heart rate is not outrageous. My legs are just toast. I have nothing. I don't think I will catch the girl in front of me, which I'm not trying to do, but I'm hoping to stay ahead of the people behind me. That's my goal. A lot can happen in 45 seconds. The guy behind me is picking it up. He might catch him. My goal is not to let him.
I managed to get was it 1265 1266 I'll figure it out later my goal was between 1400 to 1500 and I made under 1300 very happy with that and really surprised considering I was so tired I'm just gonna finish this off to be an even 27 so right here I will say goodbye if you made it this far thank you all thank you for watching thank you for sticking with me and I'll see you next time take care <laughs>